All right, as we finish up topic A in module four, um, lesson nine is going to be an application of linear equations. So we're going to take everything we've been working on in topic A in module four and just kind of sum it all up. Use all the translating from words to um, mathematical expressions, equations, use all the solving. We're just going to put an app, we're just going to take our linear equations and do them in real life. So um, just basically examples today. So Marvin paid an entrance fee of $5 plus an additional $125 per game. Altogether, he spent $26.25. Write and solve an equation. So that's what we're going to be working on today is writing and solving these equations. Um, he's paying $5 plus $1.25 per game. So I am going to let... X, I'm going to use X here, you don't have to, um, be the number of games. Okay, so he's going to pay $5 plus $1.25 per game. That's where we multiply. Two games, we multiply 125 by 2. Five games, 125 by 5. All together, there's our equal sign there, he spent $26.25. So we have our equation here. Now we have to um, solve it to figure out how many games he played. So remember, we're solving for our x term right here. So we're going to get rid of whatever's being added to, subtracted from either side here. So I'm going to get rid of this 5. I'm going to combine, combine 5 with a negative 5. If I have 5 and I take away 5, that cancels. And I'm left with 1.25x equals, if I subtract 5 from 26, 25, $21.25. All right, so now we solve for x term, we solve for x. This is $1.25 or 1.25 times x, so we do the inverse, the opposite. We divide. And whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. 1.25 divided by 1.25 is 1. We're left with 1x equals, you take a calculator and go 21.25. Let me see if I can pull one up here. Wrong button. Calculator. Uh, 21.25 divided by 1.25. Hopefully I type things in correctly. You get 17. Okay, now as you're going to see in your homework, these directions right here, write an equation and solve the equation. We need both. So we need our equation written and, the, and then it's solved. Okay, so 17 games Marvin played. Let's look at another example. The sum of four consecutive integers is negative 26. What are the integers? Well, I'm going to let x be the first integer. And again, I'm going to try to spell it correctly. Let x be the first integer. So I come over to the side here. My first integer is x. My second integer, if it's consecutive, it's the next one. So if it was 17, the next one's 18. If it was 18, the next one's 19. So we're always going to be adding 1 to it. Okay. My third integer, we're going to be adding 1 onto this one. So we're going to add 2 on. And if you don't quite remember that, I go back to, I think it was lesson, lesson 1 um, or lesson 2, okay, um, to remember how to do these. Or come see me for help. So our fourth consecutive integer, we're going to add 3 on. Now I'm going to write this down. Don't write this part. But here's what I mean. If I had four consecutive integers, integers let's say 7, 8, 9, and 10, what do I do to 7 to get 8? I add 1. What do I do to 7 to get 9? I add 2. What do I do to 7 to get 10? I add 3. So this is why we write it like this. Okay, so the sum, sum mean is the solution to an addition problem. So, um, and we get is here, negative 26. So I'm going to go x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 plus x plus 3. 
and that equals negative 26. Now, um, just to keep in mind, if these were consecutive odd or consecutive even integers, we don't add one every time we add two. Two, four, six, eight, seven, nine, if we're doing odd, 11. Okay, and we'd say let x be the first even integer or the first odd integer. Anyway, we're consecutive integers here. These parentheses really don't mean anything. You could drop it. I'm not going to worry about rewriting it. But if I look, I have one, two, three, four x's. So I'm going to have 4x plus, if I look at my constants here, I have 1, a 2, and a 3. 3, 4, 5, 6. And that still is going to equal my negative 26. Be careful with, I've been noticing a little bit, um, maybe a little shaky on our negatives and our adamant integers, positive and negative integers. So just take a second to think about it. All right, solving for max term. Going to get rid of what's being added on to it, the 6 here. So I'm going to subtract 6, or I'm going to combine it with a negative 6. And bring everything down. That's 0. Here's what I'm talking about here. If you think of a number line, if you go down to negative 26 in the number line, and then you go down 6 more, you're actually at negative 32. Another way to remember it is our integer rules say, if you're adding numbers with the same sign, you add them and keep the common sign. Multiplying here. So we do the inverse. We divide. 4 divided by 4 is 1x. Negative 32 divided by 4. Negative divided by a positive is going to be a negative. Those are multiplication division rules. And 32 divided by 4 is 8. Always go back and make sure you're answering the question being asked. So I came up with x equals negative 8. Did I add, answer the question? What are the integers? Negative 8. That's one of the integers x is negative 8. Now what happens if I take a negative 8 and I add 1 to it? What do I get? Negative 7. What if I have negative 8 and I add 2 to it? Negative 6. And honestly, because they're consecutive, we should be know that they're just going to keep adding 1 to it. All right, so always just real quick, when you get done with the problem, make sure you go back up to the question and answer the question being asked. All right, let's do one more here. A book has X pages. How many pages are in the book if Maria read 45 pages of a book on Monday, half the book on Tuesday, and the remaining 72 pages on Wednesday? All right, so it is helpful, guys, if we start by saying, you know, let X. Well, what are we talking about here? What is we're we talking about? Well, it's the number of pages. It actually says it right here. Let X be the number of pages. Okay, oh, sorry. X be the number of pages. Okay, so how many days is she reading? Well, she's reading on Monday, and she's reading on Tuesday, and she's reading on Wednesday. Okay, so they're trying to figure out how many pages are in the book. That's our goal. She read 45 pages on Monday. Okay. Don't overthink it. If it tells you 45 pages on Monday, you don't have to figure anything out. Half of half the book on Tuesday. Half of the book. Of. Multiply. Pages in the book, maybe I should say. So this is half of X. And the remaining 72 pages on Wednesday. Monday she read 45. Tuesday she read half the book. Wednesday she read 72. So the, well... Okay, so we know this is how much she read all three days, right? She read 45 pages. She read half the book, half the number of pages in the book on Tuesday in 72. What does it equal? Well, what she read on Monday, what she read on Tuesday, what she read on Wednesday has to equal how many pages in the book, right? That's X. Okay, so it seems a little weird we're using X twice. But keep in mind what we're what it's focused on. It's focused on how many total pages in the book, and that's what X is. All right, so let's simplify this. Simplify each side of the equal sign. I can add 45 and 72 together, and when I get that, I get 117 plus half of X equals X. Now, notice we have X's on both sides. When you have x's on both sides, get rid of them on one of the sides. 
I have one X right here. Now, since I only have X's on the right side, I am not going to get rid of them there. I could. I could take away one X, and I just set the right side equal to zero. But since that's all there is there, I'm going to leave it. And I want to get rid of the half of X here. So I'm going to subtract half of X because it was positive. When I do that, I bring down my 117. These are opposites. They so give me zero. Equals. Now, you could do the math here. Think of it. If you have one X and you take, ha take away half of an X, you're left with half an X. Okay, so let me bring this up here. Now remember, we can, we're going to divide each side by half. But dividing by half is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, multiplying by 2 over 1. So I also need to multiply that side by 2, or 2 over 1. And I get 2 times 117, or x equals, because of course this all canceled out, 234 pages. Did I answer the question being asked? How many pages are in the book? 234. Okay, so in lesson uh, nine here in module four, all we're doing is we're taking all the stuff we've been working on the last few lessons and we're going to apply it to some real life problems.